Hey, what is up guys and welcome to another StarCraft 2 replay cast. I am Promise and we have something special. This is very, very special. It is a game from Heart of the Swarm Beta which was released like two, three or four days ago, something like that. People have been like grinding out games, figuring out what the new units do, figuring out different strategies, different build orders. Basically, what everyone was doing with StarCraft 1 Wings of Liberty Beta is they're just, you know, transitioning a little bit over to Heart of the Swarm. But this game is going to be a lot of fun because I have two, you know, I guess I guess you can say one known player. Destroyer is kind of a guy that I don't really know who he is. But, you know what, I think I'm just way ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and introduce our players, guys, here in the upper left side of the map. We have our blue Terran player, going to be known as Destroyer. Nice little chat going on there between uh, between White Ron Destroyer, and in the bottom right side of the map we have the red Protoss. This guy's White Raw, so um, this is a replay that was posted on Team Liquid. I believe it was on Team Liquid. It was either on Team Liquid or Reddit. I I, I know 100% sure it was on a uh, on White Rush Twitter, but. Uh, he does have, you know, a lot of games that he posted. It's it's actually just a replay pack with like 30 plus games inside. If you guys want to check it out, figure out what exactly is going on in the brain of White Raw, um, which it's kind of like everyone wants to do that. But you know, check it out for sure on Team Liquid or on Reddit. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can just search replay pack Heart of the Swarm and uh, White Raw will be up there. But I mean, speaking of the Protoss race, there are some units that were introduced. One being the Mothership Core. The other being uh, the Tempest, and of course the uh, the last unit being the Oracle. The Oracle is a really really cool unit for the Protoss army. It's kind of the way I've seen it used is it's just like a harassment unit. You can like de delay any kind of mining from your opponent. You can uh, there there's just like a lot of really cool things you can do with the Oracle. Tempest is eh, it's big uh, and it looks intimidating, but it doesn't really do too much damage. I think the Tempest might need a little bit of a, of a buff in the next few patches for the Protoss player. But, um, you know, I don't want to speak too soon again. I don't want to talk about balance when the game just got released, you know, a few days ago. People have to, you know, adjust to the game, figure out, figure out what they want to do, um, and, and just, you know, go from there. But so far, let's talk a little bit about the openings. It looks like Destroyer going for... Uh, a one rax expand, kind of very similar to the Will uh, Wings of Liberty game. There's an expansion coming down, so he's going to be on two bases here very quickly. White Rock going very quick, first and second gas. So this this looks like it's going to be some kind of one place play from White Rock. I mean, if you're going for a quick expansion as a Protoss, you generally want to go for like a one gate expand off of a Stalker, even off of a Zealot and a Stalker, just to you know get some little bit of defense against any early pressure from a Terran player. But he's not expanding at all, and in fact, there is a Stargate on its way from White Raw. So one gate immediately into Stargate. Okay, I think I know what's going on. White Raw. Okay, this is actually exactly what's going on. White Raw probably played against the Warhound Marine all in like 50 times on ladder, so he's telling himself, okay, you know what? This Terran player is probably gonna do the same thing. Let me go ahead and get a Void Ray. Void Ray, of course, is is probably the best counter against Warhounds at this point, as as the Warhound cannot really attack air. And he's going to be on one base, so this is looking like it's going to be an all-in. White Raw looks like he might be a little bit overextending here with the Stalker. Don't want to lose that so early, White Raw. Um, loses a lot a lot of health on there. But the Bunker is going to finish for Destroyer. Expansion is completed as well. In the main base, what is his tech looking like it's going to be? Factory on its way. Second Barracks on its way. He did go ahead and grab two gases very quickly himself. But what is White Raw going for? Okay, White Raw is going for an Oracle. Interesting decision. So... Okay, let's see. 150 minerals, 200 gas. So that's a pretty big investment here for, for White Raw. It's not really going to have a lot of other gas to, to kind of get into units. And a sentry on its way. Okay, and an expansion. What is going on? What is this? What kind of build are you going for, White Raw? I think he's just going to try to to harass the, the mineral line of the Terran player and just expand on his own. I mean, that's that's what it looked. That's what it's looking like. We're going to have to wait and see, but so far, there's a starport on its way from Destroyer, getting a tech lap, so, oh boy, oh boy, there is, uh, there's the Warhound. Let me introduce you guys to the Warhound. This is probably the strongest unit in the game at this point. It's very, very hard to deal with, 
and uh, White Raw. I don't know about this Oracle. I think he's going to try to just, you know, use the Entombed ability to, to distract these mineral lines from, from, or to distract the SCVs from mining from the mineral lines. We're going to have to wait and see. But uh, back home for White Raw, there's a second Oracle. Okay. Cool. What else is he adding back home? There's one, two, three additional gates. No kind of robotics facility tech has been added yet for White Raw. Um, I'm curious to see what this probe's going to do. What is he going to do? White Raw? White Raw? Okay, so a fleet beacon very quickly. Expansion finished for Myra as well. So, Tempest? So fast? Like this? I don't know. This is a lot of tech off of very little economy. I'm, I'm really... I don't want to say I'm questioning White Rod's decision, but uh, I mean, if it works out, really cool. What does he use here? Okay, so he used... Uh, what was the Abido? I think that was Revelation by the Oracle. So, I don't really know what, what that did, but let's find out. Uh, okay. Second Oracle in position. It looks like the Terran player at this point just uh, getting more, getting more uh, Warhounds, getting some Medivacs, getting some Marines, mixing in some Vikings. Uh, White Rod, meanwhile, getting another gas here at the Natural. He did it on three gateways, so uh, you know those are going to com complete here very soon. Meanwhile, White Rod going to go ahead and get into the Natural once again, and I think this just like gives vision from White Rod. Yeah, so he only gets to see the mining. From uh, you know, from his opponent. I think that's what the revelation does. Maybe it's something else. Oh, okay. So he's using the preordain. So it's not the revelation. That's that's completely different. But uh, anyway, the destroyer is looking like he's gonna destroy his way through White Raw's base. 84 supply for the Terran. 60 supply from White Raw. I love the fact that White Raw's actually experimenting here with the new units, not caring if he wins or loses. It's not looking so good. This is a pretty damn scary army. Imagine if this had stim, this would be so much more powerful. Uh, but yeah, I mean, units tab. Three Warhounds, 24 Marines, and a Viking. So what does White Rat have? Units tab, three three Zealots, one Stalker, three Sentries, and two Oracles. This is not looking good for Myra. 77 supply for him. 93 for Destroyer. Look at those Warhounds just tear through everything. I mean, he's trying to get some Force Folds down. Oracles are going to be able to come here. Not really going to do anything. Not enough energy to really do... Um, anything against this destroyer just running through the units of white raw tempest comes out I don't know if the tempest is, is even going to be able to do anything Just not the best unit for the protoss army at this point and destroyer just moving into the natural focusing down some probes killing some assimilators White raw forcing himself to just go straight up into the ramp falling all the way down to 54 supply 36 probes Destroyer not even all inning at all behind this just getting a third expansion I don't know, man. I think Terran needs more nerfs. Warhound absolutely needs no more of a nerf for Terran players. White Raw is just kind of holding holding on by the skin of his teeth. I mean, he's supply blocked. What can he really make against this? And I don't know. <laughs> it's just pretty much going to call GG. Destroyer just running in with Warhounds and Marines, and that's it. So GG, well played, gets called by White Raw. And uh, they're still in the game. GG. 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 Okay, there it is. So, White Raw losing to Destroyer. But you know what? He didn't lose because he's the worst player. He lost because Warhounds are pretty damn good. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Heart of the Swarm replay cast. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of these in the future. Uh, so, check out the YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash And I'll see you guys next time.